Hello and welcome to the HGMI Culinary TV channel. Welcome again. Today, I'm thinking of making chocolate. What else? It's chocolate week. But then when you're in Switzerland, every week is chocolate week. We make a chocolate lava cakes. You know the cakes with the liquid center? Some places call it lava cakes, lava cakes, chocolate fondant, liquid center chocolate cakes, all kinds of names, same thing, delicious. So we want to do this. It can be a little bit different way than normal and I will show you how to do that. So what do we need? Chocolate, obviously, butter, sugar, eggs, a little bit cocoa powder, flour. That is for the chocolate lava cake mixture. And it's cocoa powder. Some people are trying to use a chocolate powder, but that is with sugar, sugar and not the same as cocoa powder. The real intense flavor of chocolate you get with the cocoa powder. And for the filling, we can use different ways. I will use a ganache, which is basically a melted chocolate with some cream in, liquid cream heated together, my cold, and we can use that filling for cakes. You can beat it up for truffles or for liquid center chocolate cakes. In the beginning, I used to do the, the ganache like this, then with hot, wet hands, make it into a small bowl, refrigerate them, put them in the center. Just the other week, I got an idea. In the pastry, all professional pastries will know these things. This is chocolate shells we use for making truffles, chocolate truffles. So they come ready like this. We just need to fill them, close them, roll them in chocolate and you have a truffle. So I'm thinking why not use this as a container for a filling. So the filling can be actually more liquid, more soft, so that it will really melt. And that works fantastic. So I prepared some already with the very soft ganache, softer than this one, inside, which we will put inside our chocolate lava cakes. But first we need to get started on the lava cakes. So again, bain-marie. We want to melt dark chocolate, we have here, and butter. Together, we make also sort of a ganache. And we let this melt. Not hot, not too much hot, just till it's nicely melted in kind of liquid. Ah, starting already, beautiful. So while this is happening, we need to also make our molds ready. And here we can use a glass bowl, a metal bowl, any heat proof baking mold basically. I tend to use these kind of containers, aluminium containers, various sizes because they have a nice shape and again they're disposable. But before we use we need to do several things. Butter, again because we want these beautiful cakes to come out of this baking shell. We don't want them to get stuck. So we butter them, making sure all sides are covered. And then after, I will flour dust them. Again, that is a very good method to ensure that the cakes are being released from the container. Any cake you make, you make carrot cake or something, first you butter the mold, and then you flour dust it, it will help. This one, the way I do it, I just fill them up with flour, shake them around a little bit, shake the flour out. That's it. We can do this one with this because in this one we have flour. The other day we made flourless chocolate cake. Of course, if we would flour the molds, that would kind of defeat the purpose. It would not be a flourless cake anymore. There we go. Ready. Okay. Now we have eggs. And this recipe uses four whole eggs and four egg yolks. So we break the eggs. Two. Three, four, and then we keep the egg whites separate because it's asking a higher concentration of egg yolks. 
because egg yolks when cooked, like you know, when you boil egg, the egg yolk is very firm, very hard, and that's good for cakes. This one, the egg one, we can maybe use something else afterwards. So now we have the egg yolks and eggs into our machine bowl. We add the sugar to it, 200 grams, I believe. And then we beat that like as if you make a sponge cake. What we also do with the flour and the cocoa powder, we mix that, okay? And it's very recommendable that you strain this through a sieve all the time because the cocoa powder has maybe lumps in it and with just mixing by a spoon or even a whisk, it will not come out. You need to strain it. That is done here already. So you have this kind of beautiful mixture. See, no lumps, very smooth. What it also does, uh, the, the sifting of the flowers, it aerates it, it becomes lighter, and therefore it gets mixed into any butter, cream, egg mix much more quickly. Now the eggs and egg yolks and sugar is ready. A bit about 10, 15 minutes, depends on the quantities, but what you want is this really thick, like a cream, texture. Again, it's air inside, it has stability now, it's beautiful. And again, with almost everything, the way we assemble is also kind of key. First, to the egg yolks and sugar, I will put the chocolate butter. And again, for this one, I do not use a whisk. I use the spatula because again, we want to gently, we want to, f to fold in the items together. This is what I would call making love to the food. Be gentle, respect the food, and the food will respect you too. Now the mixer is starting to blend. We still have a nice lots of air in there. Make sure it's all mixed well. And now comes in the flour cocoa powder. And we put also little by little, not all in one shot. And again, gently folding the dry ingredients. into the butter, sugar, chocolate, eggs mixture. And if you do this correctly, I mean, some people just throw in the ingredients and they wonder why they get, for instance, eight cakes out of this mixture. And when I do it, I do it a little bit with love, gently, carefully, I get from the same mixture, I get 12 cakes. It's because we want to keep the air. It's a bit of work, but in the end, it's all worth it. You will see. Unfortunately, you cannot taste. Our cameraman, he will be able to. But try this at home, you can make everybody happy. See, now the mixture is smooth, no more dry lumps from the flour. Now that is our filling. And this now we want to get in our molds. Some people use the spoon, some people use, I don't know what else. I use the good old piping bag. Let's 
So, I'm done. New fill. All the piping back. fill our greased flour molds almost to the top. So I have still some mixture left. But now, first, I put the liquid center there, in the center. That's why it's called liquid center cake. Not this one, this has no filling. And another big advantage with these kind of things here are, I mean, you continue these steps now here, and then put the topping on. Last one. So, a little bit more, because we like this one so much, to cover. So the liquid center is really in the center. Right up. Now, what I said, the advantage with this is these babies now you can put in the freezer. You can keep for a long time, maybe three weeks. You can keep in the fridge a couple of days, up to a week maybe, and bake them off whenever you like it, whenever you need them, whenever you feel the need for them. So, but here we feel the need right now, so we bake them off. Baking, I would suggest 180 degrees with the convection, 10 minutes. Depends the size of your containers. If you have bigger containers, need a bit longer. If you have thicker containers like glass or porcelain, you might need to increase. But that is a matter of experience and trying out and checking. But this one worked very well, 180 degrees. 10 minutes, umluft, perfect. See you in a minute. All right, and here they are. Chocolate lava cake. Beautiful. Still a little bit hot, obviously, just straight from the oven. But we want to eat, want to eat them warm. But again, we have to wait <coughs> for a few minutes. In the meantime, I prepared a small plate here with what we do at HDMI for the presentation. Because, of course, presentation <coughs> is as important as the actual item. So as soon as one is ready and they pop out, and I hope they do, ah, it's very soft and it's quite hot. Oh, look at it. And we put that to one side. Mm -hmm. And to show you how they look from the inside, we'll open them up. And there we have the liquid center. Mm -hmm. Next time I will make it a little bit bigger, so it will be a little bit more, but it's still there. So we have here, and to go with that would be ice cream. Bourbon vanilla ice cream. We'll make a nice sexy scoop. Put it onto the plate and maybe decorate it from the last show, a golden halo. There we go. There we have it. Liquid center chocolate lava cake, vanilla ice cream. Beautiful. Last time I had this one, I had about four of these. So go ahead. 
So and with that, again, with best wishes and great dishes, all the recipes you can find on the HGMI online recipe book. I remain Chef Andy. Till next time. Yeah.